Hi, I'm James, and today I am looking at this, which is the HP 255G7 laptop. And I'm going to start by flipping it over. And the first step we need to take is the removal of the base. Now, what we're going to do is take our little plastic spudger and both of these rubber feet on the base of the laptop need to come off because we have a number of screws located underneath. Now the, the adhesive here has actually stuck on the laptop so what we'll do is peel that up to get access to the screws below. This one, it's come off with the feet so we will place that out the way and then we just need to go along and remove these screws from the base. Now what I normally do is, although a lot of these screws will all be the same, I always just keep them to one side in the basic arrangement that I have removed them, which tends to just make them a little bit easier to replace as well. This is actually a brand new laptop as well. I've bought this specifically to take a look at here on the channel. So if, if there is anything you want to know about the machine, do just let me know in the comments and I, I try to get around to answering questions as and when I can. So now if we flip the machine back over and we are going to take our plastic pry tool and starting at the front, just push in between the little edge, between the base and the palm rest and just gently work our way around releasing the plastic clips like so um, using a nice plastic tool is much better um, then sort of a metal tool just because you are less likely to make marks on the plastic. Um, obviously it's always a little bit awkward just working around trying not to get too in the way of the camera. So with that side release we can now go round to the other and again Now with the bulk of that done, we are now going to flip the machine back over and just try to gently get 
go. And lift off the base as so. The fan is held in place just with a single screw here. So if you want to remove the fan, we can do so by removing that. There is a little metal bracket here that the fan then positions over. And then we can gently unplug the fan connector from the board. We can then either fit a new fan if it needs replacing or clean along this back edge of the heatsink which can often get clogged with dirt. To then go on and remove the heatsink we have four screws over the processor With those removed, we can gently lift the heatsink assembly, and with that done, we can then perform any cleaning that we need to the heatsink, and also if we choose to replace the thermal paste. I am going to, for the moment, leave that. I will probably reapply the thermal paste off camera, but for the the second. There's a fairly liberal coating on there, and it's because this is a new system, it's all fairly soft. We are going to replace these screws diagonally. And the heatsink is refitted as so. To refit the fan, we then simply want to place it back over here. Make sure that we remember to reconnect the power and uh, RPM monitoring and so on, and replace the screw. Once we've finished working on the machine, all that remains is to refit the base. The base we want to line up just making sure it fits over the ports on the side. And then to just press down to engage as many clips as we can. Flip it back over and just make sure all around is clipped back into place. And once we are happy with that, all that remains is to flip things back over and go around the chassis, refitting the screws and the rubber feet. I hope you found this video useful and um, if you have any questions on this laptop do be sure to let me know and of course I'll be happy to answer any questions as and when I have the time to do so. Um, do also check out the other videos on this channel, I've done quite a few videos looking inside this particular laptop and we have lots of other sort of Intel and AMD integrated graphics testing and other content on the channel. Anyway, uh, let me know your thoughts on the HP 255 G7, and thanks for watching.